Hey, this is Rachel from Taria Yoga, and today we're doing yoga so you can get back out there and do what needs to be done. This is a short healing, calming practice, and it's intended for times of stress, intense emotions, intense work, demands made on you by yourself or others. This is a mini break to turn as much as possible back inward and to take care of yourself for a moment. So let's get started. Come to your hands and knees. And throughout this practice, try to really consciously seal your contact with the floor. It's uh, literally very grounding to focus on that. Come to your hands and knees and feel both hands really pressing into the ground, feel both knees touching, and then tuck under your toes and feel the toes touching the ground. And now bring your big toes together, move your knees apart, and come into child's pose, extended child's pose, so just sitting back on your heels and letting your forehead reach the floor. Stretch your arms out as far as they want to go in front. And if it's hard for your forehead to get down to the floor, place your forearms on top of each other and put your forehead on your forearms. <sighs> Feel your shins in contact with the ground. Notice what this pose feels like. And now we're going to just count 10 breaths. So counting the in-breath as one and the out-breath again as one. So breathing in, one. Breathing out, one. In, two. Out, two. In, three. Out, three. And continue in your own tempo. And if you lose track, just go back to one. It's okay if you don't get to 10. Counting the in-breath and the out-breath. If you do get to 10, just go back to one. And one more easy exhalation the next time you come to that. And then with your next inhalation, come up to all fours. And stretch your feet behind you into plank pose. So pressing the whole palm of your hand into the floor on both hands and then all 10 fingertips. Make your body long. Take a few breaths here. Stretch your tailbone at the back of your pelvis, the end of your spine, down towards your heels. And now place your knees again. Big toes together, big inhale here. Exhale, extended child's pose. And inhale to all fours, but you can leave your big toes together. Exhale, extended child's pose. Two more times in your own rhythm. Keep feeling the floor. Now come up to all fours again and get ready for downward facing dog. So for that, again, place your hands really intentionally, the whole palm on the ground, especially the root of the first finger. Press all your fingertips into the floor. Let your chest sink slightly between your shoulders and stretch your feet back in plank. Take one deep in breath here and exhale to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, stretch your hips way up and back to the sky. And then you can walk your dog, stretching one heel down and then the other and bending your legs alternately, kind of like walking in place. Really feel your feet and hands touching the floor. It's 
kind of like you're kneading the, the ground or your mat with your feet. And then come to stillness. Your knees should be bent unless you are so flexible, if not actually the majority are, but some people are so flexible they can keep their spine really long and free and stretch the legs. But otherwise just keep them bent because this pose is about a long spine and a light natural curve to the lumbar spine. So stick your butt up a little bit. Now inhale your right leg up and back and exhale it way forward to place it between your hands. And if it doesn't arrive, just grab it with your foot and take it the rest of the way or you can even put your back knee down and move your front foot forward. Now lift the back knee if you put it down to a low lunge. We often, when we're tense or stressed, we often get tense in the hips. So this may feel very stretchy. And now bring both hands inside of your right foot for lizard, or I, I saw this was called dragon recently in a book. I like that. Dragon pose. And then let your heart sink as much as it wants to. So you might want to put your elbows down. You might be with stretched arms. You might even want to put your hands up on a block or a book or something if it's too intense. And now try setting your back knee down. Deep hip stretch. Great. Hmm. All right, now bring your hands to either side of your front foot and we're gonna go forward and back. So inhale and exhale, right knee forward. And now slide your hips back. You don't have to go all the way to a stretched front leg or maybe you do that. And take a breath here. Just go as far, stretch your right knee as much as you need to to get a nice stretch in the back of your legs or a not nice stretch, but not um, pain or injury. Should be something you can manage without making like this face. And then go back forward and back. And I'm gonna inhale forward and exhale back. You can do that in your own rhythm, inhaling the right knee forward and exhale back. Inhale and exhale. And I'll stay at the back for a moment. And I'm fully aware that this is, I'm, I'm doing a pretty deep version of this. Some of you can go way deeper or you may want to come higher. Like you might want to put your hand, I have, I have a wall here, which is convenient. Or you could put your hand on your knee or just come up, hands on your hips. That's still a big stretch for me also. <sighs> All right, bend your front knee, put your hands back down. And for pigeon, walk your right foot over to the left. Oh, place your fingertips down. So we're going to work with a mantra in this pose. Mantra just means tool for the mind. And I'm going to repeat calm when I breathe in and ease when I breathe out. You can also just repeat peace. Or if you have a mantra that you work with, feel free to use it now. So let's bow forward, if that feels good to you. And breathing in, calm, breathing out, ease. Now slowly rise up again. You can keep your mantra going. And Tuck your pelvis a little, tip your tailbone down towards the ground and try to find a stretch in the left front of the hip. Calm, ease, or peace, peace. And if you'd like to, bring the hands to the hips. Place both hands, take a deep breath in 
Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, lunge. Just get your foot as far forward as you can and then use your hand to get it right up to the front. Stretch your back leg really straight. Lift the back thigh up a little bit and then stretch your left knee forward. Calm ease. Now bring both hands inside your left foot for the dragon or lizard and lower your heart as much as it feels good to you. Maybe you'll need to bend your elbows or place your elbows down to accommodate that stretch, maybe not. And repeat your mantra. Place your back knee down. And now come back up. Put your hands again on either side of that front foot. Stretch your left knee forward. Calm, ease. And now gently move your hips back just as far as feels right to you today. And maybe place your hands up on your leg. Or I sometimes I like to put a chair right over my front foot so I can put my hands on the seat of that chair. Take a few breaths here. Draw the right hip forward and the left hip back to square the hips more parallel to the front of the mat. And then we'll start to do dynamically inhaling forward and exhale back. And if you like, you can add again your mantra here. Calm and ease. Peace. Feeling the floor under your front heel, your fingertips, your back knee. Allowing yourself to be. Mantra. Repeating. And now come to the front, place your hands at the front of the mat and walk your left foot over to the right for pigeon pose. And put your foot, um, if it's too much stretch, move it back towards your right hip. And if you want more stretch, you can move it forward towards being um, at maximum parallel to the front of the mat. And again, bring in your mantra here. Bow forward if it feels good. Can hear my, my mom is babysitting my daughter via Skype in the next room. So you might hear a few little reading out loud sounds. Calm, ease. Not as wishful thinking, I, I'm calm, or, or pretending I'm calm, I'm calm. It's just a gentle reminder to the brain, the subconscious, that these are these are states that we want to welcome. We are inviting calm into ourselves, ease into ourselves. But if we are not calm and we are not easy, that is absolutely okay. Come slowly back up and lift your belly a little, slide your tailbone down and try to find a stretch in the front of your right hip. And then if you like, hands on the hips. Place your hands back down and go back to downward facing dog. And we're gonna take a big inhale to plank. Exhale, slowly lower. You can lower your knees, chest, and chin, or you can do a classic chaturanga. Inhale, stretch your tailbone to the back. Feet long, cobra. Stay here for a moment. 
slide your elbows back and towards each other. Lift your chest, back of the neck is long. And exhale, leave your knees on the ground and stretch your butt way up and back. Don't go into child's pose, but I've, I've heard this called puppy. So move your hands forward enough so that your butt stays pretty much over your knees. And stretch your back and arms long. Your forehead might come to the floor. Hmm. And now bring your big toes together. Come to the table for a moment, big toes together, knees apart, and extended child's pose. Walk your fingertips a little further forward if you have them stretched out in front, if you're not resting your head on your forearms and lift your palms into the air. So you can look at me for a moment if you like. I have kind of like spider fingers going on and I'm using the fingers pulling to stretch my back extra long and sending my hips back against it. Take a giant breath into that and let it out with a big sigh <sighs> or a sound or a uh, roar of emotion, whatever you got. Take another deep breath in. Let it out with sound. And one more. Release your hands down, your arms. And let your breath return to its own natural rhythm. Feel the floor under your feet, your knees, your forearms, your forehead. Slowly come up to sitting, walking your feet back towards your body. Take your time. If you feel dizzy at all, you might just stop on the way up. Come to a comfortable seat. And just take a moment to gently touch your face, your shoulders, just welcoming yourself back. And then place your hands over your heart. And send a kind wish through your hands into your own heart. Send yourself a kind wish. And if it feels appropriate, you can send that same wish out to the world. And bring the palms of your hands together. This is, in many, many, many cultures, a prayer position, and it's also, as a mudra in yoga, it brings your focus back to your own heart and your own center. So press the hands lightly together. And then we're gonna bow to each other, and please also bow to your inner, wisest, kindest, and highest self with gratitude taking this time. Namaste.